Hello, this is Super B Shirley with BBS Bees. Today is Sunday, April 2nd, 2023. I came out to swap my gates with the ones that got the more, the wider holes. So this was one that was in there, swapping out the gate. I'm gonna take a look inside at least the OMB one hive and see what's going on. It's 52 degrees Fahrenheit, about 15 mile an hour per winds. But I'm behind, I'm behind our wind block here. Frozen solid snow behind there. Frozen solid everything. I did have another kind of wind break in front of this one. This hive is wool insulated. Pretty sure that it has died. dead bees there. It smells good. I'm just almost leery to open this up further just in case they are in there. Today is like the first real nice day that maybe they would have come out for cleansing flights. I'm in Wisconsin zone 4B. It's been a crazy cold winter and you know, if they're huddling in there, I just hate to open them up. I did order two new packages, uh, so they'll be coming end of April. If for some reason, both of my hives, I've got a hive right there. If they are making it in there, I'll just have to use all my divider boards. I think I have four divider boards and house uh, all four colonies at once. So I'm just gonna clean those out and that's probably it for today. Okay, cleaned it out. Got rid of all of, there's a few on the top here as well. And then I did a little check. Put my hand on the frames. These are my wool pillows. There does seem to be, there does seem to be a little bit of heat right here. It's like warmer than the rest of it. So I am just gonna close this up real quick. I said if they're in there, I'm fine. There was a spider in there. I disturbed it, living on top of the frame, so. I don't know. We'll hope that they are still shipping in there and they got enough resources to get them through the next few weeks. This is Super Bee Shirley, BBS Bees. We'll buzz you later. Bye. Hello, this is Super Bee Shirley with BBS Bees. And today is Sunday, April 2nd, 2023. Just taking a quick look inside this hive. I think both of my hives have died. Uh, because I don't have any cleansing flight activity, it is 52, 53 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 mile an hour per winds. I'm behind our homemade windbreak. We do have snow built up here. Oh my. Okay, first look since they, since the fall shut up. A lot of bees. Oh, an additional mold this year. This hive has got styrofoam insulation. I am not liking that because look at all that mold. The hive that's insulated with wool does not have this mold pattern. A lot of bees. So I will clean these bees out. You can see I already cleaned out. I opened up those holes and cleaned out what I could. All right, we'll check back in a Here's a better look at the mold. There were some bees that were stuck there in mold. I should have videoed that before I remove them. Last year we had this little pattern, but this is actually hairy, hairy mold. And all this black stuff started uh, the winter of 2022 slash 2023. We got it all the way over to here, white stuff. This hive is foam insulated. This was my concern with a foam insulated hive. We've got some up here as well. My wool insulated hive does not have a mold pattern on the roof. So those are the two differences. And I probably can call this hive as a dead out because we've got bees swimming in honey down there. I don't think I'll go any further into the hive because my new Packages will clean all that honey up and take those bees out. And just in case they are shivering in there in a little ball, 
I don't want to disturb them. Actually, let's do a little check here. If you just put your hands above your frames, you can feel if they're cold or not. I don't want to crush any bees because then I might get stung, even though they're dead. Hmm. These feel pretty cold. Like, there's honey right here, but there's a block of cold. This feels warmer up here, you know? So I am not, I am not gonna open this up in case they're in there. Shivering away, they obviously have plenty of honey. I wouldn't say obviously, they need to have honey above themselves in order to grasp it, but and uh, it's gonna be a little warmer this week. They could uncluster and go get some from the bottom. So I'm just gonna clean out a few of those dead bees and shut this up, like I said. That's it. This is Super Bee Shirley, PBS Bees. We'll buzz you in a few weeks and I get my packages. Bye. Oh, one thing I did do, we got the new entrance gates from Dr. Leo. Dad did try to drill some we had gotten last year and it was a no-go. We just ordered some more, but we have the new gates because we have mice and we'll set the entrance just in the spring and the fall to this, to the smaller holes so I don't have to worry about mice. That first year we did get uh, mice crawl in in the fall. And then in the summer, this one will be the one that's open. There is some um, black mold on my pillow, probably where it was touching the lid. So maybe I just have to make sure it doesn't touch the lid. Well, I don't know. All right. Uh, one thing to note, both hives this winter, when I clean the bee dead bees out from the entrances, neither, none of the times I was ever pulling out frost. So they lived a long while. Maybe they're still living. Cross our fingers. We can, all we can do is hope. All right, this is Super Bee Shirley, BBS Bees. Buzz you later. Bye.